So as you know, my name is Kiati Ashe, and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a reading for all of the twin and twin twins, ninja. All right. So if you in any way at all identify as a DF Divine Feminine or a DM Divine Masculine hot take, then this reading is for Jo, 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 Jo. <laughs> Go ahead to your auntie's house, because I'm about to go right in, all right? So, if you in any way at all identify as a DF, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, then this reading is for you, boo. Let us go ahead, jump into the reading. I hope that you all are doing well in the event that you are not. I pray we can transmute that energy here and now for your benefit and the benefit of all those involved, all right? All right. Let us go ahead and jump into it. Put yourself on whichever side you go. I'm just going to channel it the way that it comes through for me. We're going to get some messages of love and see what that be about. We're just going to build from there, okay? Let us see. What would we like to talk to the twins about today, spirit, please? Thank you. Some of you could have been made to feel like your twin is unavailable for you, whether this be emotionally unavailable. That's really what it feels like. Physically unavailable. You just feel like they're not available for you right now. You know, you need stability, you need something that you can depend on, and you don't necessarily feel like you can depend on something that's not there, okay? So let us see. All right. So common sense, basically. Okay, let us see. <clears throat> what are the messages for the twins? We have release. Okay, yeah, radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. It's what it sounds like to me. If you're in that energy of saying, okay, I know that I need this this and this in order for me to feel confident within a relationship i'm in and you don't feel like you're getting that then you don't feel like it's a relationship that you're in so you're releasing it you get what i'm saying it's just that simple um yeah we have awakening a lot of you have gone through an awakening or a reawakening and so you're seeing everything for exactly what it is not what you want it to be what it is right and you're praying for the best still and you're doing everything the spirit is guiding you to do but you're releasing the need to control the situation, which is like what's been causing you stress. You know what I mean? So it says someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation <laughs> and is. <laughs> All right. Oh, we got protected. OK, well, from the rip. Spirit wanted you to know you are protected as you take this leap of faith. All right. Because a lot of you are about to be doing just like that. How the car is it? And it's going to feel like, whoa, like what's about to happen now? OK, what's next? You know, am I going to land on my feet? Am I going to fall on my face? What exactly? You know, but spirit is like, it's safe to make the move you're considering. Don't worry about it. You're not going to do either of those things. You're going to fly. You're going to soar. OK, that's what I'm getting here. Um, Shoot, you got to believe it. That's what R. Kelly said. <laughs> Listen, he has some good music. We can say whatever we want to say, but he has some good music. Um, so yeah, you know, speaking in terms of artistry, my man said, and you know, they really had us singing that song at all the schools in elementary school. Then we all sing that. I know I sung it like my class sung it. All right. I know other children sung it. Did y'all not sing that song in school? I believe I could fly. Cause I swear they had us sing, all sing that song, but like, abundance, right? It says you've done the work. Abundance flows to you now. Yeah. So that's what you're worried about. That's what you're focused on. You know that true love is going to come to you. Who or what is meant for you will be yours. Who or what is meant for me will be mine. Say it, right? Who is what, who or what is meant for me will be mine. That's it. So you don't have to stress it. You don't have to worry. You don't have to, none of that. Okay. And I think that's where you are energetically. Okay says this love is emotional, physical, and unconditional, okay? So I'm assuming they're speaking in terms of your twin, right? They're wanting you to still still remain hopeful, you know, obsession. Ooh, someone has obsessive thoughts, okay? Maybe that's what it is. You want to release the obsessive thoughts that you've been having about your twin. You're like, no, I'm good. You know, I mean, yeah, yeah. Look, free will, like I said, you're going to be taking a leap. All right. And you're like, oh, I don't know. So this could also be let's flip that thing. You know what I mean? And look at it from the highest perspective, which would be release your need to control. If the spirit is telling you to take a leap of faith, take the leap of faith. But also know you have free will to choose not to. But this is your true love. So it's totally up to you, because like I always told you guys, you only get the one. Right. 
So I feel like there is an opportunity here for a brand new beginning with fertility. All right. It says fresh ideas manifest. Plant your seeds. So if this is what you want, plant those seeds. If you in general just want something true, you get what I'm saying? And you feel like what you have right now isn't that, then you have to plant those seeds too. But I'm picking up on a little bit of both. You get what I'm saying? You can't possibly realistically expect to have that with someone who's not available to give it to you. You get what I'm saying? So if you're expecting me to lie to you, then I'm not going to do that here on this channel, right? Um, this is just not something you're going to get here. Um, lying and fabrication and scripting. You're not going to get it. I'm sorry. But what you are going to get is real, raw, authentic truth. Um, what you need, even if it's not what you want, right? And that's what I'm getting. A lot of you feel like the person is not available. So in the event that they're not, how could you give yourself to someone that's not available? But I feel like there's going to be destruction. Okay. Which is a tower moment. Don't be like, Oh God, what do you mean? A tower moment. Okay. Whatever this person has been doing that has been causing them to not be available for you. Now, this is not something that you're doing because as you can see, you're releasing. All right. So put yourself whichever side you go. But as you can see, you, whoever I'm speaking to are releasing. Your counterpart is going to experience this destruction moment because, well, I guess they're trying to hold on to something. We have twin flames here. Okay. They're trying to hold on to something or someone, honey. And spirit is like, listen, now I already told you, you get what I'm saying? There's nothing really that you could do about that. It says unexpected change, new opportunities. Like I said, with fertility, there's an opportunity here presenting itself to have a brand new beginning. The soil is fertile is what I'm getting. You get what I'm saying? Or the womb is fertile. Like you and your twin right now are like in the womb of the universe. And spirit is like, listen, something new could be birthed right now. Yes, something new could be birthed right now if you want it. You get what I'm saying? But it has to be a mutual thing. It has to be, you know, in order for it to work. So spirit is not wanting you to... Uh, Beat yourself up in the event that it doesn't happen because, I mean, you're you're only in control of you. You know what I mean? And I think that's the part that people forget about when they're watching tarot readings. And, you know, my clients, the ones who I deal with personally, one-on-one, -on -one, they know this because I give them the real and I give them the raw. And I tell them, you know, I'm able to pick up on all the energies, yours, theirs. Sometimes I get full-blown descriptions of who the hell going to be popping up, when, where, and how. You get what I'm saying? It gets real in those personals. But overall, they understand that, Regardless of what the energy is at present, just like you have free will choice, so do the other people or person involved. So if they choose not to do whatever their spirit team or guides are nudging them to do, then that's their free will choice. But that'll just mean whatever could have been birthed won't be birthed and you'll receive it from somewhere else because you're still in that womb. So it's either they want to do it with you or you get what I'm saying? Like you're in that womb because this is what you're wanting. You're you're manifesting this. You're in that position to receive it. Okay, so let us see. <clears throat> it's like you're ready. When the baby is ready to come out, the baby is ready to come out, honey. You get what I'm saying? The baby, like when you go through the whole natural thing, you don't get induced or this or that, or you don't have a scheduled uh, C-section or anything like that. For those of you who have gone through it or your partners, you know, have gone through it. You understand that it happens. Sometimes it can come earlier. Sometimes it overbakes. <laughs> You get what I'm saying? It comes when it wants to. The baby's going to come when it wants to. And I feel like that's the same thing about what's going on here. This love, you know, everything is happening the way it's meant to. But listen, it can't happen no sooner than it's meant to happen. You know what I mean? So just take everything the way you need to take it right now. Yeah, we have the fifth dimension. All right. I feel like this person is communicating with you, you know, intuitively. You guys are always connected at the soul level. And you know that. I feel like this person knows that as well. Okay. Compromise. They're willing to compromise with you. Meet you in the middle. Find some sort of middle ground. Okay. Notice I said ground. They, they emphasize the ground in that, you know. So it's something there where um, something firm. Something, the Lilith and me got too excited with that something firm. <laughs> um, something secure, something that you can definitely lean on. Like you can depend on them in the event that you need it to. A lot of you don't feel that way. They feel like they could depend on you, but that's the thing. There's, it's not a, 
You know what I mean? There's nothing there for you to feel solid about. Yeah, it says give and take brings rewards. So they understand that in order to receive with you what they what they want, they're going to have to do some sort of give and take here. Yeah, this person wants you to know they really do appreciate you. All right. They see the blessing of this connection. They want to start showing you more so how much they appreciate you because they feel like they haven't been doing the best of, you know, showing that. Because here it says practice appreciation. With practice makes perfect. So maybe they're not the best at juggling everything they have going on in their life, but they're trying. They really want you to know like, hey, oh my God, you're important to me. Sorry if I've made you feel like you're not. You get what I'm saying? Now, here's the thing about it. Once again, coming from a realistic standpoint, this is saying true love. It's giving true love the way it feels. Y'all always get me in my emotions and I'm always ready to cry. This is true love. So if it's felt on both ends, right? And this person is like, oh yeah, so sorry. Like that to me is a little bit ridiculous. That's a little bit, that's a little ridiculous, you know, for you to say you truly love someone. And, oh yeah, sorry, forgot, like mm, forgot all about you. Like how do you forget about someone that you truly love? That doesn't make any sense. So I think this is where the change is coming from. You know, this person, maybe they were used to just not showing up in their relationship. So they tried to do the same thing with you. It's just, it wasn't working. Destruction. So spirit going to show them with a tower moment. Like, listen, this is not working. That's when spirit asks you to make some sort of changes. You don't make them well. Spirit's going to make you so uncomfortable that now you have no choice but to make those changes. Because you never want to experience another tower moment again. You get what I'm saying? Like, whatever I need to do, let me go ahead and do it. So I don't keep experiencing these damn tower moments. That's how you start feeling. Okay? So, yeah, loss. All right? You feel, or, you know, you start feeling like you don't know who you are. You don't know what's up. You don't know what's down, honey. This person is trying to discover themselves again. Journaling. Writing their feelings down. Yeah, going through a huge transformation. Okay, because they were caught up in the material 3D world. You know, they connect with you here. But they don't feel like they could be themselves here. So, you know, this is what kept the person at a crossroad. They needed to raise their vibration. And we've been talking about this a lot. You know, they have these romantic feelings, but they push them down. Because they're too busy trying to control everything that's going on with, you know, in their life. Maybe because they just feel lost right now. They feel like they're trying to find their way, find their place, or whatever the case may be. And it's causing a lot of interference with this connection. But what I'm seeing is a lot of you are manifesting the Empress. You're birthing something true. So, you know, like I said, it's either it's going to be with your twin, your divine counterpart, which is what spirit will want, obviously. You get what I'm saying? Or, <laughs> you know, because you guys are in the womb. That's the Empress energy. Something is being birthed here. All right. So let us see. What are the messages? We got the Four of Pentacles. Someone's holding back. Yeah. Someone's holding back because Nine of Cups, which it should be in the upright. All of the cards are in the upright. Um, something is their heart's desires. If they had to choose, the choices are already made. So there's a transformation. There's a rebirth. But... It only happens because someone is holding back. That's how they feel. They're like, okay, so you're only doing X, Y, and Z because this person is not giving. You know, they, they feel like, oh, wait, something's different. I'm not receiving. Yeah, you're not receiving because you're not giving. So now this is the, like raises the flag for the person that makes them say, oh, okay. It's like an indicator to show them that they have to step it up. We got the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, because once again, you need something you can depend on. You can depend on yourself. They feel like they can depend on you. So it should be able to go both ways. Okay, but like I said, interferences, other things that they're, you know, dealing with, other people, whatever. You know, just life. Different things going on with this material world, money, career, status. Okay. The Five of Pentacles. Yeah, and we keep seeing that. Okay, so a lot of them rebuilding their money. But the Five of Pentacles is a lot of you blocking this person out. Until they show you that, oh, wait, I'm not stuck. And I see it from a different perspective. 
and I can be dependable for you. King of Pentacles, how you've been dependable for me, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, you're going to block them out. You're not going to keep giving your energy to it is what it feels like. Like I said, release, you know. Somebody's like giving you crumbs and they're like, this is all I have. It's good enough or no. And you're like, you could keep them damn crumbs. Yeah. You know, we got the three of swords and the five of wands. It's like they want you to, that's what I just heard. So that's not going to resonate with everybody, but that is for someone. It was very specific. Like what? You know what I mean? That's insane. All right. So we have the Page of Cups and the Queen of Swords. Yeah. So I feel an apology coming in quick, fast, because the person is going to realize, like I said, like, okay, yeah, I was coming kind of, kind of wow. Yeah, you were. Because saying something like that, like, oh, yeah, well, this is all I have to give. Is it, hey, you going to take it or no? Like, what? You can keep it. You know? You can keep that. You're not doing me any favors <laughs> by giving me the crumbs out the damn bread bag. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm good. I'm good on all of that. Thank you very much. Right? Like, you're not missing no meals, Queen of Pentacles. You good on eating any crumbs. What are you talking about? So we have the Queen of Swords and the Page of Cups. So this person comes in, they want to offer an apology. And now you're in this Queen of Swords energy. You're looking at things from a very logical place. Like I said, you know, do I love this person? Yes. Do they love me? Yes. Do we feel three of swords without each other? Absolutely. Is that changing anything? No, because you're never going to allow yourself to accept crumbs. You know better. They know better. So why would you even? You get what I'm saying? That sounds crazy. Yeah, so with the Knight of Swords, it's them knowing exactly what they need to do, coming in to apologize to make things right because they're in regret and remorse of, you know, having turned their back to this love and allowing so many different things to come in between them and once, you know, them and you. And once again, third parties do not have to only be relationships, but for a lot of you, yes, it is. Third party can be a lot of different things. Okay, but when you say table for three, what does that mean? Another person sitting there. Okay, now if we say karmic cycle, karmic situation, that could be many, many things. It can be anything attached to the third dimension. The 3D, the material world, status, society, what society says you're supposed to do, how you're supposed to do it, this, that, and the third. Okay, let us see. We have the page of wands. So this person, first of all, now this has come to their awareness and they want to get back on your good side. They really don't even know how to do it. And they feel like you'll just be turned off by any and everything that they say anyway. So they're like, what's even the point of saying anything? You get what I'm saying? <laughs> they're like, what's even the point? All right. Yeah, but spirit is guiding them, eight of pentacles, to put the work in, to say something. You know, come from a very logical place. See where you're coming from. Yeah, compromise. You know, queen of swords. Stop looking at it like you're being cold-hearted or you're being cold. No, you're not. It's just common sense. You get what I'm saying? It's just common sense. It says mutual understanding, flexibility, give and take brings rewards. You want the reward without giving anything. No. Nobody wins the championship without actually having earned it, bro. You get what I'm saying? Like, what are we talking about here? Or sis. You're, you're not just going to win. This is not like the kitty league where everybody gets a trophy. This is not that. Okay? So, let's see what we got. We got, yeah, the three of cups and the two of cups. So, so as long as they continue to allow things to come in between the relationship, you know, there may or may not be progress. Depending on what you guys are willing to compromise with. Because if this person is willing to acknowledge the love and give you the love and this and that, a lot of you may be able to 
compromise with them depending on what that third party is if it's a person probably not unless you're into that sort of thing you know unless you're okay with polygamy you know which is nothing wrong with that you know but you're like listen you ain't gonna be breadcrumbing me and giving the whole loaf over yonder you're gonna have to make sure niggas is eating in both houses you understand what i'm saying to you shoot but yeah that's that's how that goes down if you can't do it then don't do it that's what I'm saying. Not everybody can live that type of life and they want to, but you can't because you can't afford it. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? If you can't afford it emotionally, mentally, spiritually, financially, then don't do it. But don't think you're going to have a whole empress, a goddess or an emperor, a god and be breadcrumbing them because that's not going to work. So, yeah, we got this four of pentacles and this nine of cups. Let us see. Yeah, the Six of Pentacles is about reciprocity, give and take. You give to me, I give to you. Queen of Pentacles, the Fool card. Yeah, they want this brand new beginning with you. They continue to want to start over, start over, start over. I think you're just at this point now where you're like, I'm tired of starting over with you. We should have been further along by now. You have Five of Pentacles, and I'm going to block you out until you understand from a logical position where I'm coming from. Because you're not coming from an emotional position. You're coming from a logical position, you know. Masculines love to, to do that, right? Make it seem like women are operating off of emotions. Everything that we do is emotional. No, it's not. Especially not when you're dealing with a divine feminine, a balanced divine feminine. Things have to make sense to her or she's not doing it. So, yeah, see the empress. Exactly. Things have to make sense to her or she's not doing it. You want me to participate in something that makes no sense? For whose entertainment? Yours? No. You get what I'm saying? So the strength card, she's stronger than that. She knows better than that. She's balanced. Exactly. She's going to overburden herself when she doesn't have to? No. She's going to end the cycle. She's going to walk away because she knows what she deserves. Radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. All right. Three of swords energy. Five of wands. The Ace of Pentacles. So this person wants to make this offer to you. Again, this is my engagement ring. A lot of them want to marry you. They want to be with you. They see you as their true love. They see you as the one. It's no other one for them. We have the Knight of Swords. And this is the truth that they want to come to you and share. Like if they had to choose. So both parties feel the same way. So I'm saying it's true love. But for whatever reason, fear, ego, third parties, interferences, karmic situations, uh, things this person has not yet opened up to you about whatever the case may be you know you guys have not been able to progress and see that you feel the exact same way also due to whatever has been pulling on this person's energy and taking their attention away them giving you whatever remains from them which sometimes give you the impression that they're just simply not available is not allowing for you guys to progress either so let us see we have the page of wands the eight of pentacles what is this the Seven of Cups, yeah, it causes confusion and chaos where there doesn't need to be any. The Temperance card, all right, Divine Intervention and Protection. The Death card, as you go through this transformation and rebirth, the Five of Cups. This person is doing a review of the past, and they're waking up. They're going through an awakening. Didn't we see that earlier? That somebody's going through an awakening? Yeah, so that they can receive this abundance, this Nine of Cups. It's like having a genie, a genie in a bottle. You get what I'm saying? This person feels like all of their wishes can be granted through you. <laughs> ah, that's so cheesy. But we have the three of cups and the two of cups. They're accurate, though. They are 1,000% correct. <laughs> divine feminine is the Holy Spirit. They are correct. You screw over divine feminine, the amount of karma that you'll have to deal with, not because she did anything, but because it's divine feminine and she's that protected. You get what I'm saying? Even if you were to do something to divine masculine, he's that protected. You don't want to cross him you don't want to do him wrong intentionally that's not what you want to do you get what i'm saying the amount of karma that you receive from mishandling a divine being well what do you think it's divine punishment honey you're going to have to deal with we have the three of cups and the two of cups all right let us see yeah they're bored without their empress they're bored without you okay or you're bored without her so why are you even playing this game Go ahead in your little karmic cycle so you can go ahead and go home. You know what I mean? In your little karmic cycle so you can come home. It's just that simple. Page of Swords. Yeah, there's a brand new contract 
or renewal of a contract awaiting you. And here we go, Tower card. It's something you could try to run from, but you cannot hide from your destiny. The Star card is going to be a tower. We saw that from the rip. That's the destruction card. It says tower moment. The tower. You understand what I'm saying to you? Okay. Not new to this. True to this. <laughs> but that's what we're seeing. Okay. So let us go ahead and pull from this deck. You guys, I cannot. Self-indulgence. Focus on self, self-worth, time to heal. See, exactly. Feminine just knows her, her worth. And this person wants to run away from you. You're like, okay, I'm just going to focus on healing my heart. It says healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. Yeah, because that's toxic. To be like, oh, I love this person. I'm bored without them. But you keep running and doing whatever you're doing or allowing these interferences or whatever it is. And then, yes, it's allowing because it's a free will choice. Right. So this person wants to talk. They want to meet up. They want to spend some time with you and enjoy you and all this other stuff because they really do like you. All right. And they feel like the romance between you guys continuously blooms. It doesn't ever die. It's like the never dying flower. You get what I'm saying? It, it doesn't die. It just continues to grow and bloom and blossom and be even more beautiful than it was the last season. You get what I'm saying? Is that type of thing? All right, so if this was your reading or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and hair grease.